So we had the TechCon 2010, and uh, Marvel here, you're showing tablets. Yeah, absolutely. So we're showing the Armada application processors, and what we're really showing is anytime, anywhere, any content, and media devices and experience delivered to you. So we're showing here our Armada application processors. This is actually the 168 in production, shipping in multiple systems out in the market, ebook readers, tablets, etc. So this is uh, from the Armada 100 series? Absolutely. The Armada 100, or otherwise known as the 168, and that's shipping today. And um, Marvel will do reference designs and then provide those reference designs to our OEMs and ODMs, and then they build those and ship those to their customers. And th this one can be uh, 400, 800, or 1 gigahertz? Something That's like exactly that? right. So we got a, we got the versions of one family of processors, one pinout um, compatibility, so it goes from 400 all the way up to 1 gigahertz, nice. shipping today. And then the next family that is, uh, we've been working with a number of customers right now, is the Armada 600 family. Uh, we showed this at CES. And uh, you'll see production products in the market at the end of this year. So this is running Android. It is running uh, Froyo or uh, Android 2.2 with right. Flash 10 support on it. Right now, the Flash does work already. Yes. Nice. So uh, there will be products before the end of the year, before, not at before the, Christmas. Yeah, at the end of the year, targeting the end of the year. So you likely you see products at CES. So we showed reference designs, demos, development boards, last CES. This CES will be talking about uh, real customer products. Nice. So Very what could good. you say uh, is the difference between 100 and 600? Yeah, that's a great question. So 100 uh, was really designed where the core does all the work. So it's a one gigahertz processor, core doing the uh, video capability, the uh, graphics, etc. What we did, so that's a great product and uh, hits great price points in the market, right? So for the Armada 600, what we did on that processor is we have a separate, we have the core, but then we have a separate hardware video accelerator. So you can do 1080p hardware encode, decode. Yeah. And we also have a 3D graphics core. So we actually have demos that will show a cube spinning, showing the 3D graphics at the same time that um, Video is being rendered on the surfaces of, of those uh, of that cube. So it's hardware decode here. Everything is done by by the the, the main processor, the ARM processor. That's right? exactly right. So the the main processor is doing everything on the Armada. In this product yeah. or the Armada 168, it's really designed for the main processors doing everything. So for example, if you're doing video, the main processor is doing that. So you share the video with you know rendering with all the things the OS is doing, everything else. It's, it's great from a, uh, hit a very low price point. Um, what we did, and so you can d get up to about D1 resolution on this video, on this processor, which is really good in a tablet type of form factor. Um, with this, on the Armada 600, it really takes it up a whole other notch. So what we have is the CPU core, plus we have a hardware video accelerator engine in it that can do 1080p video. At the same time, we can do 3G, I mean 3D accelerations, and those two streams are going on at the same time. As well, the Armada 600 family is done on our ultra low power process, so it's ideal for cell phones and tablet type applications. So for example, just to give you an idea on the battery life, if all you want to do was uh, MP3 video, or you're on the plane, you want to re do MP3 video, I mean MP3 audio, you could have about uh, 100 hours of audio on a product like this. Nice. So, uh, right here, the positioning for a tablet is lower cost. Yeah. So on this, it's it's all about it's about yeah all about low cost. 168 is about one gigahertz processor, highly integrated processor. So it's about cost. Yeah. Exactly right. On this one. It's about, well, it's still about cost, because we're it's a highly integrated processor, but it's about high performance and very low battery life. Okay? Right. So, yeah, exactly. All right. And over there, you, are you running uh, the Armada? So what, yeah, let me show you what this is, and I'm going to, I'm going to... Uh, so this was a new plug. This is absolutely, this is the new plug that uses the Armada 168. So the, the big deal with this is we have a 
this had a two two gigahertz, runs up to two gigahertz. This actually runs one gigahertz because it's an Armada 168. But the big deal on this one is the <laughs> HDMI out. So we have an HDMI out. We call this the G Plug D uh, for the D meaning display. So this is a great, it's a server in a box. That's what it is. We're showing over here how it's hooked up USB uh, mouse, USB keyboard, and then HDMI out to a screen. And we're just having to run video, but you can have the whole thing doing a uh, you know Linux screen, a Linux computer. Nice. So it's a full computer in here. It's a full computer right there. And when is it released? And this will be available in a couple of weeks on the website um, Global Scale. We'll have these available through Global Scale Technology. All right, cool. <laughs>